morning good afternoon hello hello everybody who is going to be the first to be here today god bless you all right today we are talking about effective praise and if you see my face also for the first time my name is oye layo i am oye for short your parenting coach and on this life parenting essentials today we are going to be talking about effective praise in one of my videos back then uh, i think it should be within episode i'm going to look for it and share it in the course of the week i was talking about how over present children does more harms than good i've made a video on that before and that is i don't want to waste a lot of time even though what i'm going to talk about today it's a lot in line with our video i am go not going to repeat everything i've said in that video again and that is why in the course of the week i am going to look for that video and share again there i was explaining why over present children does more harm than good fantastic you're doing amazing that's a great job wow i haven't seen anything like this before you know I, I really expansiated and I explained a lot why we should be careful with our use of words. So now today I want to talk about effective praise. Praises are good. Even as grown up, we, I understand how much we appreciate praise, you know, like well done, you did well, even for us, even from, from our spouse. Even for as a wife, as an husband, you know how much you just want your husband to say something to you especially when you have done something good then you appreciate yourself you know that this is a job well done from your part so now we're talking about our children how can our praises on our children be effective how our, how can our praises not be over height how can our praises not be a noise but have effect on our children don't forget praises should always also be a form of teaching for our children it should always it should also be a form of enhancement establishing a, a reasonable act not just for them to feel good of course it's good for them to feel good but for them to know that it's a thing that it must be constant constant i have to do it over and again hence i came up i i came up with this topic effective praise once again thank you for joining if you don't mind just let me know where you're watching me from thank you everyone for joining so the one more thing i put in my mind i said make sure you define the approach behavior when giving praise before you can start praising your children before you can start saying what you know is something that you have to be conscious about and don't forget we have said that parenting essential from the vision guide is basically for those who want to be intentional in their parenting it is very important for you to intentionally define appropriate behavior to your children before you give praise let them know what are the things that are expected of them i have a video that made uh my year ago i'm talking about making the rules in the family how a rule our procedure whatever we, we believe in this family should be done it shouldn't be out of the children thank you pastor moses god bless you sir it should be along with the children you make the rules, you put them in consideration, you let them know in this house, this is what we do, and this is why we do them. Most of the time, parents, we feel we are, we are, you know, we are so superior that the children doesn't need to know why we are doing a certain thing. And this, I think this, this was the way I was brought up in African family back in Nigeria. Not directly my parents per se, but environment church environment people around you are not allowed to ask why you are not allowed to understand the basic of why this is is being done like this and most sometimes if you have if you, if you ask questions it can be a big issue this is not where i'm going to today however if you want your praise or your praises on your children to be effective and to yield the result you have to define the appropriate behavior let them know this is the way we behave this is the way we talk and this is why we talk like this this is why we behave like this when all these things are in place then you can move to the next phase of having an effective phrase 
and i put in my note i said i said praise should be given immediately for you following the desired behavior most of the time parent we don't count this as very important your child has done something very good amazing that you will know and if even the child is proud of his or herself but you feel you are so busy at that particular time you can't stop what you're doing at that moment be given immediately following a desired behavior already we have established what what sort of behavior we do and why we do them what are the expected behavior why they are good and why you should do them as a child why you to make you a good child you know in a society where you can grow up to be a better person so anytime you see your child doing these things desired behavior your process should come immediately never say i'm busy i am going to tell the child later that was a job well done it is very important because the moment we don't give the process immediately the effect is almost gone especially if they are the little ones you have taught your child please when you finish eating you have to clean up the table do as much as possible to wipe the dining table if there are crumbs on the floor try to get the broom or the brush and br brush them and pack them and your child for the first time has done this or is doing this right and you are seated maybe you're busy calling on the phone or you're chatting your friend and you feel no 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 i will i will tell her later i'll tell her later that was good no to so have an effective phrase mm -hmm. it must be given immediately give the praise immediately that was good sweeping the floor after eating if there is crumb or cleaning the table is a good behavior and that is what you have just done let the child know immediately and my next don't i put here very uh, very the way you very the way ways you uh wish you praise let it be very don't let it every time it's amazing amazing every time what the child is just hearing from me is amazing that's amazing let it come with spice make sure it varies be unpredictable when you're praising your child don't let it be just one thing don't forget i said i'm going to reshare the video i made sometimes back about why and how over praising your child or your children can do more harm to them than good so i really want you to watch that video so that you don't misunderstand this video if you have not seen that video, you might not be able to have full understanding of this video because you will think, I say, just go ahead and say, fantastic, amazing. Mrs. Shomade, thank you for joining me. God bless you. You just think I'm saying, just keep saying, fantastic, amazing. That's great. I'll make sure in the course of the week, I share that video again. Why over praising your child, it can do more harm to them than good. However, I've said it and I'm going to underline what everything I've said today so far because of those who are just joining me. I said number one thing to do for you to make sure that your process on your children are effective is for you to define the appropriate behavior. Let them know what is good enough. Let them know what is wrong. Let them understand the boundaries around the house. Let them know that we don't do this because don't forget the aspect of making them have clear understanding by you explaining why that behavior is not good enough don't just come and jump on them that is not good this is good children of this days really want to understand not because they want to disobey but it helps their psychology to understand i can get mommy because you know imagine telling a child don't put your hand in fire because you get burnt the little ones one year we don't understand Maybe you want the child to program, we are together, but Facebook, I don't know why that I'm going offline and reconnecting. I think because of the messages that are coming on my phone, but I believe I should be back with you now on Facebook and you should be hearing me. Just as I was saying, let them know why they have to do a particular behavior. Let them understand the boundaries, why to do it and why not to do it and give the process immediately. Don't wait. 
done to wait. Let them understand immediately that what they have done is good enough and they have to keep it up. And ensure that you vary the way you give the process. Amazing job tomorrow. Amazing job after five minutes. Amazing job. The child will be tired. It won't have any effect. Mommy will shout amazing job now. Daddy will just say amazing job. Every time, amazing job. Because you know, okay, I have another uh, thing on that. I don't know if I'm going to go there today. You know, presses can be in different form. It can be verbal, it can be edible, it can be a whole lot of things. So you can't just stick on one way of phrases. And amazing job. Again, ama they, they, they get tired. That you just look like, who is this person? Who is this person? Every time she will just say amazing job. Amazing job. You have to think out of the box and make sure it's fun your praises make sure you think of something uh different in teaching your children through effective phrase another important thing is for you to relate you have to relate praise to effect to effort do this because you have done well don't just give the praise and the child is wondering the child has, the, the child has, Okay, it's working well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, but from my side, it's just saying something else. Thank you very much. It's working well. Thank you, my darling. Okay, don't just be giving presses off and on. Yes, yeah, Sister Bella, please, you can. Somebody said it's working well, but I don't understand. But from my side, I can see it's not working very well. Sister Bella, if you're still having challenges with this Facebook broadcast, please, you can just. I hope you're on Instagram and search for the video vision guide um life now the vision guide um life or if it's giving you problem but if it's okay now you can just stay right there but if you find this difficult just go to instagram and follow the vision guide and uh, you will see my my life the same video is going on on instagram okay this is what i mean give praise give sincere praise give sincere praise When you are giving praises to your children, make sure that you are sincere about it. As much as you want your child to be happy, our is not a polished lie. For example, I think I mentioned this in the video I said I was going to bring up. Your child loves to draw, like my daughter loves to draw. And I used that her drawings as an example. I think that was over a year ago. But I said in that video, if I have said, if I have said, fantastic this is amazing she wouldn't have reasons why she need to do more you are telling your child on something what is you can see that this is not right your child can still do better you are telling your child this is amazing it is fantastic your child will not get any reason or have any reason why i have to do better i'm doing great anyways mommy said this is amazing Mommy said this is fantastic and you will see a lot of them they will go to their classes and argue with their teacher because the teacher is the teacher is the teacher is not polishing the press. The teacher knows what is right for your child. And if a parent is not aware of this, you I, you end up going back to the teacher. Why are you saying that to my child? That is not good. That's not the way. Don't teach the teachers what is right, especially when you're sure you don't know what you're saying. You can cause a whole lot of damage on your child if you are not careful. In the name of positive parenting, no, I'm supporting my child. And everything. Yes, we all love our children and we are giving them the support they all need. We are giving them the support they all need. But bear in mind that we have to be sincere when dishing out this process. If that work needs a more, this needs more work. You need to do more work. However, it's a good start. Keep pushing. Don't give up. It's a form of praise. But you have not liked that child by saying, yo, I don't want my child to cry and say, oh, this is the best drawing I've ever seen in the world. Parent, this is what we do. Is that the best drawing you have seen? This is best write-up I've read in my whole entire life. Then the child will just let me go and sleep. Mommy said this is the best of... That's it. We can't do that. The last generation thought the same. Our generation cannot afford to fail on these little, little things on our children. The world, the world is busy with a whole lot of things already. And I said last two weeks, I said, if you want this world to be a better place, you do your part as parent in your house. 
if you want to see any change how that don't expect anything from the government or from the teacher you ensure you are intentional in your parenting and start doing your part from home and these things that i'm saying it goes a long way it goes a long way be sincere enough when you are giving your praise never give praise and follow it with immediate criticism hmm. this is what i mean listen never give praise and immediately you are following it with a criticism it can do more damage than good if you have been with me at the beginning of the, just the way i've been trying to place the words you will pick one or two things in how to sincerely explain to your child why your child needs to do better in a particular activity in the process of giving praise you have just said to your child now oh gorgeous this is beautiful but why is that shoe blending like that ah <laughs> uh, and you're even laughing why is there a heel like this Ah, this is not ter this is very terrible you are damaging or affecting the your child's psychology you can't give praise and give criticism immediately make sure it doesn't it, you don't do that and a lot of parents do it jokingly jokingly so many funny jokes just like i can't i can't i can't stop to think about what i said three weeks ago about we endangering our children with our with our compliments I still see it today. Even me as a grown-up, I see people coming to my picture and commenting. Commenting to somebody's wife. You look X word. I cannot even say it. You might think I'm sick. This is how disciplined I am in teaching my children. Telling people what somebody's wife. It's not a, it's, that word is not a compliment. It's not a compliment. The X word is not a compliment. It should be between married spouse. So when somebody is telling you, I don't feel, oh, feel good, it has become numb today. And this is a society that we live in that we cannot stop. But you can stop it by teaching your children right in your own house. And these days, I've seen parents giving their two years, three years old girl compliments. Oh, see my girl, she looks, uh, uh, Abba, come on, let's stop this. If you want this world to be a better place, this is not where I am today. But these are the things that is ringing, kept ringing in my mind. How can we do this? How can we stop this? What are the ways? And this is this is giving me more reasons why I have to make more, create more things. Come up with more lectures. Because sometimes I, I literally feel some parents that I've met in the past, we need to break their head if possible, which is not possible. And to put these things inside. And that is why we cannot overemphasize the, the point of vision. Like vision, vision, what vision did you have before you got married, before you became a parent? We cannot stop talking about these things. Don't jump into the sea if you don't know how to swim. Don't cry to God to give you babies if you are not ready for parenting. The word is, the, the word is we have seen a lot, we have seen enough. If you are not tired of what is happening out there, personally, I am exhausted. I am tired. So we've seen enough. How can we make it a better place? It's to us to be intentional. Am I ready for bringing up children now? Can I, can I, can I cater for them? Am I going to have time to be intentional in my parenting? So I know the reason why you're having these children. Don't just give birth and, you know, I don't want to sound rude or sound too strong or harsh to anybody because I know most of the time those parents that we have here, they're already intentional or they are working towards being intentional. And that's why sometimes I say, if you can share, share. I'm not giving you pressure so that the people who need to hear can hear what they need to hear. I'm talking about make sure that you don't overhype your praise. Make sure you are sincere and make sure that you don't put criticism immediately after praising your child i'm going to move immediately because time is fast spent for your reward to be effective they should be immediate just like what i've said before for your reward to be effective on your children make sure they are immediate yeah make sure they are immediate pro and con be just so thank you for joining me sir god bless you appreciate for your reward to be effective, make sure they are immediate. Don't wait. Don't wait. 
make sure that your praise is immediate immediately reward and a, a prop an appropriate behavior reward any behavior that you want to be you want it you want to see again you want it to increase you want that behavior to to be a constant behavior don't forget we have behaviors attitude in our children that we don't want to see so now we are talking about the things that you you teach them and you're seeing them doing the right thing if you want to continue to see that and you know that praise is still going to help them do it immediately don't wait be consistent be consistent consistently is the reward if you want to give reward don't promise and fail as much as i've done i've, I've talking about i've spoken about reinforcement at the beginning of parenting essentials and i gave you reasons why reinforcement is good and why you can be careless with it if you are not careful because the child there is different between you giving a reward maybe let's say edible or activity free time and the child is learning from it. See, if you are not careful, it will end up being, I will do it because mommy will give me this. It's not a trade by batter. Don't get it wrong. A lot of parents do this, but they mistaken. It, it, it's, been, it's been misunderstood. And it has become trade by batter. Go and do the dishes. Are you going to give me the biscuit when I finish? That is not what we are talking about. It is not a trade by batter. Do this. No, 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 no. It is you encouraging the child for good behavior because you want to see it again and in reinforcement okay that means two videos i need to look for that i did it early days it must fade away it must fade away until the child is going to understand and understand make sure there is a clear understanding between you and the child it's not like you do this i'll give you this no i'm giving you this because you are doing the right thing don't let the child feel she will give me because I have to, uh, I will do this. I hope I'm making sense to somebody today. Or that the reward are achievable to help maintain attention and motivation. I'll read that again because I really want you to understand what I'm trying to say. I said ensure that the reward are achievable to help them maintain attention and motivation. I will try to explain because we don't have a lot of time. Imagine... You want to, you, you, are, you are giving um, a target to your child. See, if you can achieve these, I am going to do this for you. Maybe in the academics. If this time around you can have like nine A plus, I am going to buy you an iPad. It's not bad. It's okay. But let it be achievable. Let it be realistic. So that you can, you'll be able to maintain attention and motivation. Don't forget what you want to do for your child is supposed to be a motivation. It's supposed to be a support. It's supposed to be a kind of learning. Not to like give the child pressure. I need to have A plus, 9A plus. And the child cannot even psychologically concentrate because the child needs the iPad desperately. And if I don't have 9A plus, my mommy cannot buy an iPad for me. That is absolutely wrong. That is, I'm not saying 9A plus is not possible. But don't forget, we have said that over and again, that we have the uniqueness in our children. We have to understand the unique child. Some of them, are, they don't have strength in maybe in the particular subject, which is not a problem. I am not, uh, I mean, I am not ruling really out academics. I believe so much in academics. I believe you have to study. But if you, if you flash back to the way we were taught, you will realize that a whole lot of it are waste of time. <laughs> waste of time. So we can't go through that line. I'm not saying you should be careless and tell your child you don't have to have A plus here. But ensure you are being sensitive. If your child is bookworm, it's fine. I have, I have some boys that I know they are really bookworms. Let's support them. This is what the Lord has made them to be. I have one of my children now. All he wants to do is to read and read and read and read and read. Not my biological child though. Praise God for that. If you tell him, if you read 10 books in a day, I will buy you this. The boy will read 20 books. So I hope you are getting what I'm trying to explain. Don't put your child on pressure. Understand the unique child. Understand your child's strength in the process of giving reward and praises. If one is good in drawing, and you know it's, not, it's almost impossible for that girl or that boy to have A+. Plus. Why not say if you put more effort on your drawing, you are also going to get your iPad. 
not letting one feel less than another if you are letting one of your child feel less because you feel getting a plus in mathematics is the only way in your house because you are a professor and i'll take you back that you are still a selfish parent you have to balance these things let them be balanced let it be balanced you know how to draw i love my painting i'm not doing bad anyways i have my b in the math i have a even though it's not a plus that you want mommy so we really have to wake up not that we don't damage our children so many damages has been done in the life of children but parents feel i'm doing my positive parenting in my way best way possible don't tell me that a child is coming home with b b b a a a and you don't want to see it first thing you gave is a slap i came out in the from the university to, with, with with the first class thank you mrs first class don't get this aspect wrong i am not saying education is not key even though that was the only thing we were taught rich so that you can have money read it ah in this part of the world that i am the children will tell you why why do i have to read so tell them so that you can have money they will tell you me do you know i have 20 candles do you know i am a shake so what are you going to tell these ones read so that you can have money they have money you are a teacher what did you pack outside student is parking jeep outside ferrari lamborghini and you want to tell that child study hard so that you can have money they will tell you no i have my money arab children they'll tell you me money very rich so we have to like think out of the box we have to leave the pattern that we were raised because it's a, our poverty mentality out of our children let's embrace their strength let's give them a push um, so let me just uh, be fair be fair I, I think i've mentioned it as this part of my point but i've said i've said that along the line be fair make sure all your children are fairly rewarded i've said that already make sure your children are fairly rewarded don't do don't give a rule that only one of them can can achieve and the rest three are feeling like a failure don't let any child feel like a failure if you say this one is not useful it's because you have not done your work right as a parent you have not taken time to understand what is unique about this one she's always coming up with it coming home with a c a d what can i do take your time understand that child even in the process of trying to encourage getting a tutor for that child to do better in their mathematics try understand let her explore let him explore what is the uniqueness in this child i'm shouting i'm crying i'm raising my voice and i'll keep talking because i felt if i have known myself earlier in life there will be some things that i will not be struggling with now so the best thing I can do for my next generation, for this generation, and for you to do to your children and those around you, is for us to be intentional in these things. They look simple. They look ordinary. They look like we don't even, they, they doesn't make meaning, but they go a long way. Your child can talk, but you're like, why are you a parrot? Why not take that positive Take it in a positive way and take advantage. Set a camera for your child every time. Let her record. Let her talk. Every time she wants to tell you a story. Mommy, I saw the hockey. Whatever it is. I saw this cartoon. Amazing story, by the way. But you don't have time. Okay, I understand. Thank you, Mommy. You are busy. Thank you, Daddy. You are busy. Buy a camera. Put in front. Tell her. Just press this and tell the story. Encourage the child. That's the child's strength. I believe I'm making sense. I cannot overemphasize this point. I'm just going to say three type of rewards and we're going to call it a day. I am going to be live again next week. So I don't need to push this too much because I have a whole lot of things to do today. On the 5th of March, the uh, second edition of Parenting as uh, Retalk with Mom, rather. On the 5th of March, the second edition of the Retalk with Mom will be, will be available on uh, partly on Facebook and uh on our youtube channel we're going to be doing recording today and those mom who are coming i tell you they're fantastic you can't wait to meet our mom so on the 5th of march it's going to be available but for next week i am still going to be live on the 5th of march i won't be live but next week saturday i'm going to be live and there are so many things that are coming on the way uh, there are so many things that are coming all the way our therapy room is almost ready we are working on it 
so if you want face to face you're going to be getting more information with that those toys that can help your children achieve maybe your child is struggling or in the milestones those are the things we are working on and the vision guide at this moment we are going to be sharing our toy page soon and I'm, I'll be having a video on how you can educate your child on those particular toys. And if you want a private session with me, if you want a face-to-face -face or online, those information will be available on our, on our uh, website. It's not there at the moment. And it's going to be available on our, all our social media platforms. These are the things we are working on. And we are also working on, uh, on uh, some advanced courses that you can go. I'm going to be sharing some website for you soon. I believe by the end of March, these things should be available on some website where you can go and purchase some of our advanced videos. You have to be intentional. I can't just come here and keep talking. See, see in this year I said to myself, I've, it's literally I go to people's house and tell them this thing before. But only those who are ready, let's move. Enough. If you don't want to listen, that's fine. It's up to you. You want the world to be a better place? Are you ready to take the challenge? Are you ready to pay for what it will take? I am ready. Don't let us be tired. Let's do it. Let's keep pushing. The world is going to be a better place. Yes. But only when you do your part and I do my part. I know a lot of us that are here are intentional and working towards being intentional. So I'm just going to let you know that three types of reward. I've mentioned them through my course. That but can help you. I will underline them. It's a social reward. Social. Tangible. Activity. I've said them through my words. Even though I didn't use the words. You can, it can be tangible. It can be an activity. You can do, can you choose the next activity? Maybe you're doing family game. If you have done this because you did well, because you clean up, because you try to wash the dishes. In our family team building next, you are going to decide which game you are going to do. We like the fact that you're trying to get better, but don't give up. You can do it. You can get better. It can be a lunch date with your daughter or your son. Be so happy because we know that you're trying to get better. Don't wait for that perfect child. The picture you have in your head might not exist. If you have pressure or I want to raise a perfect child, you give yourself pressure, you give your, ch uh, your children anxiety. And from all of us at the Vision Guide, I want to say thank you for joining. We are not taking your time for granted. Don't forget that parenting must be with vision. It must be intentional. It must be purposeful. You have to carry it jealously. Intentionality is key. Intentionality is key. And if in doubt, ask. That is the word for parenting. Don't use your child as practical the worst thing you can do for yourself is to gamble on your parenting skill if you don't have anybody around search 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 even on vision guide our 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 you can inbox us our line is available we have some private sections if you want if you want a face-to-face -face, if you just want us to counsel you go ahead and just we are ready for you don't gamble on your children don't forget we call them growing glory on this platform they are growing and they are our glory our glory for tomorrow what are you doing with your growing glory i don't want to talk much but thank you for joining me from the depth of my life. I love you. I really love you. Thank you for joining me today. And I'll see you again on same time, same place, next week Saturday. Stay blessed.